All right, this is how to get a YouTube playlist as a JSON uh, feed. And uh, through the magic of YouTube, we're going to take this throwbacks of the 1990s and 2000s playlist and turn it into a JSON feed so we can feed it to our website or app. And uh, through the magic of YouTube, I have the video you're watching right now already pulled up. And in that description of this video you're watching now are some links. And we're going to start out with the GitHub repo link. I'm just going to open this up in a new tab. And all I need to do once I'm here is hit this deploy to Heroku button. It's pretty easy. And uh, it's going to start spooling up. You might have you sign up for a Heroku account if you don't already have one. That's okay. This doesn't cost any money. Uh, you just enter your information. and It might ask for a credit card, but... Even if it does, you don't, you won't be charged. So we're gonna name our app JSON01. Looks like that name's available. And then we have our config variables right here. This is kind of how we're how we're gonna tell the app what to point at and what resources to use. First, we have the Google API key, which is basically how Google tells what your app is and kind of monitors it to make sure you're not up to no good, trying to spam people, send calls from India or something uh, and this is your playlist ID that of the playlist that you want to show the JSON of and this is the cache time this is basically how long you want to cache the playlist for that way you're not hitting the Google API too much because they don't like it if you're asking for a new the playlist every second they get kind of tired of that and they will shut you down or charge you a lot of money if you do that so this kind of helps with that. Um, if you don't necessarily need the, a fresh playlist, a fresh version of the playlist every second, you can cache it. The default I've got here is 10 minutes or 600 seconds. And you can see how that math works out here. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a example Google API key. Um, I'm just gonna go back to our video and then I'm gonna get this link to create a new Google Cloud console project. If you don't already have an account with this, I might ask you to set it up. I'm just going to name this uh, 1990s and 2000s music videos. Oop. Looks like I've got some proper characters. Place that. Maybe that and then uh, it might ask you some other stuff right here. I already have a billing account set up, but uh, if you don't have a billing account set up, it might ask you to set up one, and that's okay. Uh, this is designed where it's, it's going to be very, very, very difficult for you to ha have to spend any money to set this up. All right now, I run all my stuff for free. Uh, so I'm going to create this. Now that I've got this set up, I'm going to go to select. And then I want to open that one. And it's spooling it up right now. While that's spooling it up, I'm going to go back and uh, pull up my JSON unifier for later. Then I'm going to get the key from my playlist, which is this guy right here. After the URL, it says playlist, question mark, list equals, and then this thing. I'm going to copy that, command C, and then I'm going to paste it into here. And then I'm going to set my cache time. I'm going to go ahead, since I'm not going to be using this a lot, I just want to get it going. I'm going to set the cache time to one second. So that way, pretty much every time I load it up, it's a fresh copy. And then let's see if our Google guy is uh, set up yet. I'm just going to refresh this page. Oh, I forgot to select a project. There we go. Looks like we're ready to go. So the next step is we want to, this is kind of, you know, Google has a way to identify what our app is. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell Google that I want this app to be able to access data from YouTube. And so I'm going to go to the API manager. And then I'm going to go to library, which is their library of APIs. And then I'm going to pick YouTube data API which is all of YouTube's data related to videos. And I'm gonna hit enable. 
and this this at, that API does it has rate limits on it. You can't use it unlimited, but you have to again you'd have to really really try hard to make it where it would ban you or do anything like charge you money. Um, so now that I have that connected, I'm going to create my credentials for the app. I'm going to I want to use YouTube Data API three, and then. I'll and then I'll be calling the data from a web server, as in Heroku. And then I'll be accessing public data. I won't be accessing any login user's data. That gets a little complicated. And then... There, there we go. That's good angels. You can feel free to copy this from the, your screen if you want. I would not recommend it because I'm going to delete this after I ever finish recording this video. Um, but... Now that that's ready to go, and feel free, you can feel free to restrict this because it doesn't like when it's not when it's allowed just everywhere unrestricted, um, or or name it the funny name if you'd like. But all I need right now is this key, so I'm going to copy that command C. I'm going to go back to my Heroku app, and then where it says Google API key, I'm just going to paste this to API key that I just copied. I'm going to hit deploy. The great part is is this is a whole server instance for you to use and run at your leisure. Let me take a second to spool up. There we go. And you'll see it, it'll go through little check boxes down here as it's running it. And we have successfully deployed to Heroku. So I'm going to view it in a new tab, make sure it's all good to go. Look at that, that's our JSON. And then if I go and I copy this link that I just made, Command C, and then I will hit load URL, this JSON view. By the way, this is from uh, the description, so you can just find this right here. I'm gonna open up a new tab, and it's just so that way I can see and inspect my JSON. So I'm gonna paste the link to my Heroku app right here, hit load. There, loaded up our playlist, and, and so now we have everything. We have this great, awesome musical Nickelback video, and we have this uh, these details of it, and these cool thumbnail URLs, and all these different sizes. Um, you can see we have the name of the video, we have the description. Uh, we kind of twirl this down. We get we have channel title Stephanie Price, which is the up person who uploaded. What playlist it's from which is that playlist ID that we got earlier. And then content details, such as video ID, and that is that, that little identifier. We go back to uh, our playlist, click on that Nickelback video. You can see this little identifier right here is what it's pulling out. And that's pretty handy if you're making links or pulling up specific video data. And then it's just all this great detail about it. And then this this also will be cached uh, according to your cache time. I do not recommend putting a small cache time because you'll get in trouble again with Google and their rate limiting. But if you do just like the default 10 minutes, you should be more than safe. And then I'll just go back here and then uh, I think that's about it. And that is how you get a, oh, oh, there's one more thing I almost forgot. Let's see if it still works. So if I want, if I go and I say, I'll just look up another playlist. So let's say I already have the app set up. I'm doing a different project. And now I want a different playlist. Well, I can go, I'm going to pull up this playlist right here. And I get this new playlist ID. Well, I can go back to my Heroku app. It's running my the link. I set up earlier. And I just do slash and then paste that link in. And now it's pulling that play that new playlist. So once you have this set up once, it by default it'll pull up the playlist ID that you you set in your uh, config variables. If you, but also you can access any play other playlist by just doing slash and then the playlist ID. And then if you want to copy this and then load it load this new playlist into our kind of JSON inspector 
let it load up. And there we have it. It's sure on all these details. Just the same. So once you have one, it kind of is, is its own endpoint API thing. Um, and it's ready to go. And that is how you get the JSON feed of a YouTube playlist.